We are encouraged that the Strategic Defence and Security Review recommended the procurement of seven Steel class submarines and that the Treasury have now approved the commencement of fabrication for the six boats and long lead material procurement for the seventh and final boat of the class. We at BA Systems are fully committed to finding ways to make the programme to build these seven Steel class submarines more affordable. Working with the Ministry of Defence, our Tier 1 supply partners, Rolls-Royce and Babcocks, under the umbrella of the Submarine Enterprise Performance Programme, we are confident we can improve both programme performance and affordability. One example of this is that we plan to build Anson in 105 months, which is nearly 20% less time than it took us to build Astute. Man has sailed the seas for more than 5,000 years, and keel laying is an important element in shipbuilding traditions. Keel laying is the first major milestone for any shipbuilding project marking the change from preparing to build the vessel to actually building it. The keel laying is the maritime equivalent of setting the foundations of a building and is every bit as important with regard to the long-term safety and performance of the vessel. I'm also delighted to be here and very honoured to be invited uh, as an aviator, uh, although I am wearing Royal Navy couplings today. Uh, the fact is, of course, that uh, submariners and aviators have one rather important thing in common. Uh, we both try not to operate on the surface. So I hope there is uh, some uh, synergy there. At last October, as John has just said, we confirmed our commitment to build a class of seven astute submarines. So Anson will now join her sister boats, Ambush, Artful and Audacious, in construction here at Barrow. Indeed, around us you can see the great progress being made with Artful and Audacious as they are welded together, fitted out and tested, and in essence brought to life. Of course, many of you here today will recall the rather wet and blustery November day in 2009 when the first of class, HMS Astute, sailed from Barrow to begin a program of extensive and rigorous sea trials and training, which are demonstrating the boat's capability. I'm pleased to report that Astute is on track to begin her operational service around the end of next year. I was also delighted to learn that the second of the Astute class, Ambush, has successfully completed her first dive in the shipyard's basin. This is a critical milestone ahead of the boat's planned exit from Barrow early next year. They have an improved capability for worldwide operations, much greater firepower, better communications, and crew accommodation than in-service submarines do. With advanced stealth technology, the Astute class has been designed to be quieter than any of her predecessors, and thus very hard to detect. Um, constructing nuclear submarines is one of the most complex projects that our maritime industry, indeed any, any industry in this land, undertakes. The Royal Navy offers say that the Astute class is more sophisticated than the Space Shuttle. And for this reason alone, I pay tribute to the thousands of skilled people at BAE Systems Submarine Solutions and in the supply chain, as well as in the Royal Navy and the Ministry of Defence, who are and will be involved not just in Anson's construction journey, but have been and will be involved in the production of the astute class of submarines as a whole. And as I look around this magnificent hall and see those of you around here, uh, thank you all very much indeed. Together we are witnessing the next step in this important program which will deliver defence capability and help ensure security for all of us for many years to come. Thank you very much indeed.